have said, don't talk about the internet as an instrument or a tool. And yeah. I'm absolutely with you. It's <laughs> not, in this sense, it's not a tool, but it's a big intervention. But it's an experiment, an experiment we should do and we have to do, and we have to find out where it's, it's leading us. So uh, you're absolutely right when I'm talking about the tool, then it's again something in my hand, and I know what I have to do with this. And I think this, um, uh, this internet, this network, is uh, f far too complex in, in the result, in the effect that someone can use it as a tool. It, Therefore, it is a tool, but it's not right. just a tool. Not right just a tool. <laughs> no. That's right, yeah. But um, the question is, uh, at least, will it change us? Can we use it to change something? What can we do? Do you have an answer for this big question? No, not really. Not you? Same to me. No. <laughs> the only thing I really have as an answer is I'm trying to use the tool in my context for the more low-hanging fruits. So, for example, I try to change the political culture in my own area. And this works. And I'm, I'm absolutely sure when I enhance transparency there, when I uh, bypass the typical structures of power, then there will be a change. So it's not the big idea of the global we, because um, I'm, I'm not really believing that we will be so quick in creating something like a global culture even via the internet. No, I certainly agree this with is, you. Yeah, this is a problem. In some sense, culture is too important to be global. I mean, it has to be local. Yeah, if it's, if it's really global, how trivial it will be. Yeah. We have to have... Cats. Yeah. We all like the... Yeah, cute okay. cat photos. The, the basic yeah. things we yeah. could so share. That, that's yeah. easy, and we yeah. hope that we'll go up yeah. from there. But um, their culture is, yeah. I think, innately local. It has to be local. Yeah. And, um, so what, what I hope, in a way, is when we are talking about the global we, is that um, via the learning in the internet, we learn to enhance the 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 um, uh, the space of our value system so that more is possible in the value system you know if you look at the part of a little culture then there's often the problem that the value system is uh, separating <coughs> from the others the value system is too close so to create something like a differentiated value system where the values are broad enough to allow tolerance to allow the others to exist then it would be fine but this is the only answer I would have I don't know what the value system should be, but I would have the idea that the value system should be open enough. Yeah. I mean, there, there's a, a particularly there's a particular approach to values that um, seems innate to those who hold it, mm. but is not, and it would help if we could get past it. And that's the idea that the things that you value must be of real value, and the things that other people value mm. differently must not be of real value. The notion that there can be concurrent value systems is not, um, it's not an easy idea, mm. but it's also one that um, not everybody holds to. So I'm putting this very badly. It, it seems as if um, it's a natural thing mm. that your values if, are like truths, and mm. if you're right, everybody else is wrong. But that notion itself is very historical and culturally uh, mm. relative. We know that people can um, embrace multiple value systems. Mm -hmm. Even while holding on dearly to their own, mm -hmm. acknowledge that mm -hmm. it's a wide world. We know people can do that. We have good mm -hmm. current and historical examples, and getting to that point more globally mm -hmm. would be hugely beneficial. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the only way towards peace, yeah. for one thing. Yeah. So. You said something interesting. You said it's, it would be hard for you to discuss with someone who has a very right wing value system would be hard to discuss openly in the sense yeah. that I am as open to change as he mm. or she is. Yeah. yeah but the question is, uh, would, would you be ready or able to take the perspective? Not to oh, overtake, yes. but to take? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Those are the most interesting conversations. Yeah. But, but, you know, this is something where I would really like to train uh, and give people the opportunity to train, to have the opportunity to take the perspective of the other without overtaking the value system as a whole. And I think for this, uh, the internet is really something like a very interesting training area. If you go in, if you're really open, and if you try to find out what the value systems of the other well, side. You have no excuse not to now. It's, it's yeah, one click away, it's where there. you can always... Yeah. So yeah. you mentioned um, 
or earlier that you've tried, tried to raise your children with a sense of curiosity, yeah. which yeah. is a sense of appreciating that, which yeah. is mm -hmm. different, and that's something that we do mm -hmm. as parents, it's something that we hope our mm -hmm. educational mm -hmm. system does, mm -hmm. um, and it's the internet is an opportunity to go further. Mm -hmm. But I think you need all those things. You need mm -hmm. good parents, you need good schools, and yeah, there's they need something open in the internet. back I would prefer. It's um, you know, whenever I'm talking with people, they try to avoid crisis. They try to avoid something which is really uh, having impact on your value system. And what I've learned with my own children is crisis is okay, it's absolutely okay. Whenever you are going through, through a crisis, your value system is opening up and you are more ready to uh, take the perspective of others afterwards. So you have to challenge the system by crisis and this is not only for children. I think this is also true for cultures in a whole and for political things. So I like the situation of crisis very much because it, it gives you the chance chance to open up your value system a little bit. So as somebody who basically challenges the yeah. echo chamber argument, I keep coming back and I'm going to present yeah. it to you again, because yeah. um, the echo chamber argument would say, and the internet is the greatest medium for avoiding crisis ever. <laughs> Just don't go there. Hang out with the people you like. I mean, why should I go argue with some, you know, somebody I disagree yeah. with when I could be yeah. having fun yeah. with cute cats? Yeah. So I, it may be that this is we've mm -hmm. given ourselves the greatest so way if, around. If I would accept this yeah. as a, a, a more or less uh, human um, basic, then I would say no. I'm pessimistic. <laughs> this is what we all want to have to be stable and secure and calm in a special value system, then I would say, hey, we have no chance any longer. Because then the internet is really nothing positive. Um, it gives yeah. you the opportunity, and if this would be your basic motivation, I would say, keep away from the yes. internet. It so gives you too much sugar. Here's the next uh, yeah. reason to be pessimistic. Yeah. So let's say we do engage mm. with one another, mm. um, with people with whom we disagree on values or mm. facts or whatever. Um, as you have, I think, rightly said, right from the very beginning, that mm. um, talking across cultures is very, very difficult. It's difficult, it's mm. difficult talking across values within a single mm. culture. And so even if we want to engage, we now face the fact that you don't, your culture doesn't talk the same way that I do, and sure. it can be mm. difficult to engage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but again, uh, are we ready to stand this um, critical situation? Are we open to do this, to try to do this? If we are not, if we are really searching for the same, then we get in a real problem. This is uh, simply the end of uh, the challenge. So we just need to embrace crisis and have the patience and understanding to be able to engage fruitfully and empathetically mm. with those with whom we disagree across cultural and communication boundaries. Okay. And then we're, then we're done. Then we're home. Yeah. Okay then, let's it's do that. It's not an answer, but it's a way to <laughs> an yeah, answer. No, no, I, completely, I, yeah. I do completely agree with you. Mm -hmm.